From the Rain Dogs album, that is Tom Waits and Singapore. He's Captain Beefheart period, if you like. So, uh, Mark Riley here till nine o'clock, and I have been joined by Edwin Collins. Edwin, great to see you, mate. Thank you very much, uh, Mark. OK, <laughs> and, uh, would you mind introducing your bandmates, please? Yes, uh, uh, on uh, uh, James Warden, on... Uh, 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 yeah, uh, Stratocaster. No, Dragon uh, Era. Uh, no, uh, uh, jazz. jazz Master. Right, fair enough. Yes. Uh, Andy Hackett on uh, 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 Stratocaster. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Cowan Ellis on bass, guitar, Mustang. And uh, Jake Hutton on drums. And lastly, Sean Reed on keyboards and guitar, uh, saxophone. Yeah, fabulous. And, oh, me. Oh, of course. No show without punch, as you say. Uh, that, that's a phrase, I think. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, you've got a brilliant album out, and you're going to do uh, three you. songs for us, mate. Um, uh, so we'll have a chat about the album and your studio and what's going on in your life yeah. a little bit later on. Uh, but what's the first song you're going to do for us? It's uh, All Makes Sense to Me. Brilliant. Edwin Collins. Thank you. Wonderful, beautiful Edwin Collins live in session. It all makes sense to me, and we'll have uh, two more tunes from the guys in a short while. Ace, thank you very much indeed, you lot. Thank you. Fabulous. Um, okay, so it was Monday night that we had Callum Easter live in session, and um, I, I'm going to play for you now one of his tunes. This is Only Son. story is that Jimmy Cliff recorded that when he's about 14 years old, well that is Hurricane Hattie, and I'm Mark Riley, and I am once again in the company of Edwin Collins and his mates. Um, so Edwin, your new album, Bad Bay. Yes. So the uh, title of it, can you explain it for us briefly please, mate? F what? Uh, Bad Bay? Yeah. Uh, uh, the single? Uh, the song? 
Uh, well, the actual place itself, because it was inspired oh, yeah, by a place. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, um, uh, uh, it's, um, uh, up in the highlands, in the east coast, uh, it's, uh, right on top of the world, it's called Case Ness, uh, and, uh, Solund, uh, uh, and, uh, I'm an inspiring, um, uh, uh, it's, um, it's, um, Georgian, uh, as opposed to a Victorian, uh, uh, 1820s, possibly. Right. And uh, it's uh, up in the uh, Slea Cliffs uh, and uh, the East Coast, and it's haunting, and incredibly uh, haunting, so... It's an abandoned village, isn't it? Yes. And is, is that something to do with Highland clearances? Yes, it is. Uh, and um, in Helmsdale, uh, ten miles away, it's uh, abandoned uh, clearances also. The, uh, in the river, Helmsdale itself, used to be 10,000 uh, people wow. lived in Helmsdale. Right. Not anymore. How many are there now, roughly? Oh, uh, oh okay, uh, 500. Wow, okay. So what was it, uh, part of my ignorance, I've got plenty of it. What, uh, was, what was the Highland Clearances about? Oh, uh... This I, is probably <laughs> Radio 4 territory, actually, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's about... Uh, due to... Due to... of uh, Solomon cleared them off to... to uh, make way from the great white sheep right okay <laughs> i need to do i need to do some swatting up on this i should have done it before probably but uh, well, it's all intriguing but, but, stuff. Uh, yeah yeah but it's uh, oh, oh, it's it's ha haunting and it's depressing also right uh and uh Solent and uh keith keith nest uh it's cleared uh, of people virtually right okay it's strange you know because i was talking to grace before and it was just a coincidence because i well, i didn't realize that john marr from buzzcocks took, yes. the, took the photograph on the oh. cover of the album oh it's it's oh it's oh it's so good it, of uh, john uh he lives in uh, uh harris now that's right yeah and uh he's a oh, great photographer some uh, he came in uh, November to take a, a f p photograph f for the album. Right. So. Well, the thing is, I was just going to mention John anyway, because I know that he goes around photographing all manner of things. Yes. But, but some of his projects are based around derelict properties, aren't they? And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it all Especially kind of Especially on sense. Uh, Lewis and mm. ha Harris. Uh, and uh, it's... Um, he looks from uh, interesting buildings and falling dilapidated buildings. It's incredible, so incredible work, isn't it? Yeah. I, I absolutely love it. I know, that's so do I. It's, it's uh, haunting stuff. And you called him the most handsome buscock as well, didn't you? Yes, back in the day, of course. Yeah, of course, back in the day. <laughs> um, all right, then, so uh, you're going to do two songs for us. We'll have yes. another chat in a short while, Edwin. So uh, what are you going to do next? Yeah, uh, Orange Juice, 90, uh, 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 80... One, two, three, four, four. Right. Is, uh, and uh, the last album, four, four albums, and uh, uh, it's called, it's uh, a little bit of uh, sensitive. So, <laughs> okay, no, okay. So, <laughs> Brilliant, yeah. Your last and an unstarted You don't need a lover You need a starry garden Love is 
Oh, what a treat. Edwin Collins live in session. I guess I'm just a little too sensitive. Uh, so if we can uh, continue the conversation then, Edwin. So it seems that some of the lyrics uh, for the album yeah. you found whilst you were having a bit of a clearance when you were moving, as is well documented, from Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, um, before my stalk, but uh, it's called... Um, uh, what's it called again? It's all about you. Yes, yes. Thank you, Sean. And uh, the lyrics uh, of um, uh, the chorus and the verse, actually. The, uh, I'm, I cribbed the verse before my stroke. Right. OK. And so you just found this notebook and found stuff that inspired yeah, you to write that but, tune? but Grace, my wife, said uh, I insisted on the, that. Why don't you um, uh, say... Uh, uh, the lyrics are good and, uh, enough to use, but okay, case I said, <laughs> why not? <laughs> well, I tell you what, we've been playing that tune on this program, and I absolutely love it. So Grace is right, but then again, she's probably always right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, so there she you is. go. Um, and your studio, I mean, I've been shown photographs of it, and it looks like an amazing place. It's set up above the uh, the rest of the village, isn't it? Looking yeah, yeah, out yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's. Uh, I've got a new desk, uh, of course, 1969. Wow. Uh, uh, 1064. Uh, it's uh, a class. Uh, it's called, and it's oh, it's so great. Uh, but anyway, uh, <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting lost there in your look yes, your mixing yes, desk, yes, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> but Mark, uh, is, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, I must admit. But Grace did tell me also that you've got lots of signs that used to be in various BBC studios, particularly one which says "Nation shall speak unto nation," which is oh, an amazing. Oh yeah, yeah, speaker. the the the, uh, the, the speaker. Mm. Um, it's a 1930s speaker. I've got it for a bargain. I paid uh, sixty pounds, and it's working. It's but uh, I blew up the speaker. I know, three times. <laughs> 
Uh, now, I, I can't name his sources, Grace, but she said, she said to me, Grace said to me, you know Edwin's got quite a loud voice. I'm going, well, yeah. And she said, well, he has blown three speakers in it. But you can't, uh, one day you will blow the wood up as well if you're not careful. I know. <laughs> but you've got loads of great bands going up there to see. I mean, the Oh, yeah, yeah, it's true. Uh, spinning coin uh, from Glasgow. No, uh, then, of course, yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, um, shopping. A, a new, new group, group. We know uh, shopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of those, yeah. You, you do. Uh, it's, you're nice people. Uh, and uh, oh, Tracy Ann, Danny. yeah, yeah. Oh, Sean. <laughs> Who's that, oh, Sean? Oh, yes. Tracy Ann uh, and Danny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, of course, Tracy Ann and Danny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, for um, um, uh, what's that group called again, um, Sean? Tracy Ann's group. No. Um, Teenage fan club, you had... Uh, no, no. Uh, um, uh, um, what's it? No, um, oh, Gabby, do you mean Gabby Garber? No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> this uh, could uh, take a while. Uh, you, you need to what, learn to what, be a mind that, reader, uh, Sean. Uh, uh, <laughs> Tracy, uh, Tracy, Tracy Ann, Camera Obscura. Yes, oh, yeah. Camera Obscura. Tracy Ann is from Camera Obscura. Thank camera. you, Sean. We've had them in session as well. Of course we have. Yes. We have all the great bands yeah, in here. Yeah. You, you have them in your studio as well. It's great, though, isn't it? Because, I mean, bands used to go to Montserrat and Nassau. Now they go up to the Highlands. Yeah, of Scotland. Perfect. My uh, grandpa was born in, in uh, the Highlands, in uh, Helmstill. Yeah. And, uh, six, um, well, 5,000 people, approximately. It's a small uh, village, mm. basically. But uh, I was born in Edinburgh, of course, but... But my grandpa uh, uh, is also, uh, took me to the the Highlands of Helmsdale and uh, all around the the uh, Caithness and Wick and uh, Thurstow and it's, it's gorgeous. You fell in love with the place, obviously. Yeah, uh, Grace I fell along uh, along a lot with the place. Yeah. Also, yeah, so. I can imagine. Do you know what I read today, which is very interesting, and want to know your opinion on it? They are saying that um, uh, the UK is the only place in Europe that hasn't had wolves reintroduced, yes. and, they, and they want to reintroduce wolves, particularly to the Highlands of Scotland. Yes, that no. Well, I, I'm not happy about Wills. Because of my stroke. I'll tell Chris Packham he won't be happy. I know. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 yesterday I met uh, f f Chris uh, Packham oh, and uh, Squeeze. But he's a ni nice guy. He is. He's absolutely brilliant, isn't he? Yeah, and yeah. always campaigning for fabulous stuff. All right, I will shut up now because we need more music from Edwin Collins. So oh, yeah. you're going to do Outside for us now, which is almost a punk single, if you don't yeah, mind me saying. Yes. <laughs> it's uh, early Buzzcocks mixed uh, Iggy, Iggy Pop yeah, for the voice, yeah, uh, we'll quite live possibly. With that. Yeah, fabulous. Well, we love it anyway. So uh, Edwin Collins, live in session, Outside.
Oh, fantastic. From start to finish, Edwin Collins live in session with all of his mates, and that was outside. And as far as I'm aware, you've got one gig booked in at the moment, is that right? At uh, Mosley, uh, the Mosley Folk and Arts. Yeah, yeah. And uh, a proper gig uh, in September. Yeah, you're doing a full tour, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, we'll just have to wait for that, won't we? It's been brilliant. The chat was great. The Mark, music was great. Thanks, uh, Mark. It's a real pleasure, a real pleasure. So thank you so much. I'll see you in show business. <laughs> Check, check, one, two, three. This is six music. Six music. Six music. Six music. Check, check. Six. BBC Radio. Six music.